As we head into our Rocket Mortgage Classic coverage this week, over the weekend, we got a first-hand look at the Detroit Golf Club thanks to the John Shippen Tournament. CBS News Detroit's Luke Laster was there all weekend and has more about the tournament itself and the man who brought home first place and a shot in this week's tourney. The sweet, sweet sounds of a weekend on the links. The Rocket Mortgage Classic is ready to kick off but it was over the weekend where we got our first taste of the Detroit Golf Club thanks to the John Shippen National Invitational. Uh, this is the third year that we've hosted this event and we host professionals, amateur, black professional and amateurs from all over the country, literally all over the world. John Shippen Jr. was the first American-born golf professional and Summer Woods says he has helped pave the way for black golfers across the world. Woods says this tournament isn't just a competition, but an opportunity for golf history to be brought into the spotlight. We are a, a black city, uh, but black golf is pretty prominent here. A lot of people don't know the history of black golf. And so we wanted to work in, you know, myself working along with Intersport and Rocket Mortgage, wanted to create something that the community could be proud of and come out to, right, and be a part of it. And that's where the John Shipping was really birthed. Well, day one brought golfers a feel for the course, playing 27 holes on Saturday, it was all about what was next. And despite a lot of humidity here in Detroit and a schedule pushed forward to accommodate for any looming weather, day two of the John Shippen Tournament brought us a champion. A slight breeze and a trophy kicks off the final morning of the John Shippen, and with only nine holes to play, golfers wrapped up around 11 a.m. A real honor to win this this year. Chase Johnson, the 27-year-old professional from Barberton, Ohio, takes home the illustrious John Shippen Trophy. Heading into Sunday's play, Johnson was tied for first, ultimately pulling away and winning with nine strokes under par. With his win Sunday, Johnson grants himself exemption into the PGA Tours Rocket Mortgage Classic this week. I was fortunate enough to play the 2021 Memorial, and I played Corn Ferry in 2020 and 2021, so I'm going to see some familiar faces this week, but I mean, it's always nice to test your skills against the best in the world and um, see what I can learn and see how my improvements in the last year will put me up against the big boys. Johnson says while he's now shifting focus to the classic this week, he's also going to take a moment to enjoy his win here in the Motor City. Well, I'm just going to relax, enjoy it today, and then uh, take it easy. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to have to grind too hard on practice rounds for the rest of the week. Having played the course, I'll, you know, try some trickier pins and stuff, but I'll just relax, try to hopefully be able to catch a Tigers game or something, and, um, and then just hang out and Stay, uh, stay in the moment. Reporting in Detroit, Luke Laster, CBS News, Detroit.